Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and this little guy is called the Wayne Lux K10 Mini Laser Engraver. That's right, this thing has a laser and it engraves, and you can pick it up, you can move it around, and you can get it for a pretty affordable price. On their website right now, it's selling for $160. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it, and this is my very first experience with a laser engraver. And I do have to thank Wayne Lux for sending this out to me so that I can check it out. And it has been a learning experience, but it's been a very pleasant one. So here's the thing with this laser engraver. Now first, it has a three watt laser, which in the grand scheme of things is not very powerful, but it is powerful enough to let you engrave on different types of wood, leatherette, certain types of metals, paper, you know, like really just standard basic stuff, especially if you just wanna dip your toe in the water and see if you even like this whole laser engraving thing. This machine has turned out to be pretty darn good at what it does. So let me just give you a really quick rundown of it. Now, first of all, there's no assembly required. You don't have to put together anything. It comes out of the box just like this. And only thing you have to do is take off the plastic that covers this uh, shielding right here and this also allows you to look at the laser while it's engraving because usually because it's a laser you have to wear protective eyewear to protect yourself but because this is around it you won't have to worry about that and then it connects to your computer via USB if you want to do it that way you can also connect it via Wi-Fi that's the second option that you have as well and it's just really simple to operate you can even buy an accessory that lets you attach an exhaust exhaust tube thingy to the back of it and then there's a separate unit that's going to suck in all of those uh, odors from when you're engraving things like wood it can tend to get kind of smelly so if you are going to engrave indoors you i really recommend you get something like that but if you're in a well ventilated area you should be all right now, just like in 3D printing, you're gonna need a piece of software in order for you to generate the necessary code to start engraving, just like slicers. And in this case, one of the most popular pieces of software for laser engraving and laser cutting is called Lightburn. Only thing is, Lightburn is not free. You can do a free trial, but then after that, you have to pay for it. But if you don't wanna pay for it, and you have this machine, you can download something called Cut Lab X, and that is somewhat similar to Lightburn, just not as feature-packed and that is free and that's what I've been using for the most part in testing out this machine but one of the most important things that I've learned when it comes to engraving is assigning the, the proper power to the laser as well as the appropriate speeds and then it just sort of becomes a, a dance in between the two so that you can get the results that you want all right so I'm going to show you some things that I engraved here but I also have set up some leatherette. I have a leatherette pouch that I want to engrave this motorcycle on and I'm going to see how that turns out and I'm using the CutLab X software for that and the other cool thing about this is it gives you a preview option so that you can look at the laser tell you where the boundaries are going to be so that you don't accidentally <laughs> engrave your table or something like that and then I can assign the appropriate power. They provided this really handy guide for different materials and recommended power and speed settings to kind of get you on your way. So for this, I am going to use their recommendation. So this is leatherette. So I am going to set my speed on here to 3000 millimeters per minute. By default is 5000, but I'm gonna set it at 3000. And then it also has at 100% power. It's at 80 right now, so I'm just gonna change it to 100%. My biggest challenge is trying to make sure that everything is like in the middle, but here we go. Let's just start it. Everything's connected. I'm gonna hit start. And we'll see how long this is going to take. And maybe you can kind of see what's going on right now. It is carving up that leather and from back here is eventually going to start to smell. So um, hopefully I won't smoke myself out of here, but yeah, it is starting to smell. So I'll come back when this is done. All right, so now it's done and that only took a few minutes really. And you can just lift this up, grab this patch 
and I'm gonna get a closer look at this so that you can see it, but this came out looking really, really nice. I mean, wow, it looks really good. And they also provided this brush because you know there's like a little bit of soot on here as well. So you can just kind of brush this off if you wanted to clean this up a bit real quick. Then with something like this, you'll be able to transfer it onto your clothes or a hat or something like that. But the detail on this guy came out looking so freaking good. And I was really shocked at the quality that uh, this laser was able to put out considering how affordable it is. And it's also got some pretty cool, a pretty cool safety feature where every time this is open, it's gonna automatically shut itself down. So you're not gonna be able to uh, put your hand in there, you know, at least unless you're really trying to get your hand in there and be sneaky about it. You're not gonna be able to do that or look at the laser while it's in, in progress to hurt yourself. So I like that that is an option too. I like the fact that even with something that is too large to like put under here, let's say if it was like a, uh, like a cutting board or something, because you can pick this up, you can put it on top of things and you can engrave it that way. So it's not just completely closed and you can only engrave things that you can fit inside. You can put it on top of stuff. And that is really cool as well. And now I wanna show you some things that I was able to engrave and just the learning experience that I've had with this. So you saw the patch with the motorcycle, but then here are some other ones that I tried. Now, one of the first things that I tried here was using this wooden coaster to engrave this Sonic the Hedgehog photo into it. And again, it turned out looking pretty darn good. And then on the back, I tried to do this Inquisition uh, logo from Warhammer 40K in which I've encountered the biggest problem that I've had with this. And it's not the laser's fault, but it's just being able to gauge where the middle is so that when you start engraving your image is completely centered and you're not too far up you're not too far down over time i've gotten better at it but in the beginning it was a bit of a challenge to do so i also went to adobe uh, express and i used ai to generate a picture of a vector lion to try to get it engraved and this is what it turned out looking like it doesn't look very good um, I think that the image that you use definitely is going to have an effect on how the final engraving turns out. So that didn't look you know, pretty good at all. But this regular PNG file from the internet, these two turned out looking good. Some other patches that I tried to do was like this of a campfire that turned out really, really nice, very nicely detailed on this. I got another patch of another logo, another Warhammer logo with the salamanders, like a dragon head basically. This turned out looking really good. And then figure feedback leather pouch. And I just put like a little uh, nozzle thing there. And yeah, I, I in, in the software, I just typed out figure feedback in like a text field and I chose my font and I just positioned it and I got this and it looks really nice as well. And then I got these dog tags that are like, this is like cheap, cheap metal. I mean, it's barely metal, but it is metal. Um, and I engraved this Optimus Pro or this um, Autobot logo into it. And I was really happy at how this turned out because I was able to make it fit across the entire dog tag and I really got it very, very close to the center. So I was able to engrave dog tags on this. Some of my first things that I tried was the figure feedback logo, which turned out to be way too small because I was just trying to learn it. And then here's an example of how it looks when you're trying to engrave things like uh, paper. In this case, some type of like glossy type of paper. Something you put like, uh, maybe like a business card or something on. So I just have the figure feedback name and a QR code that would take you to the YouTube channel right here on this card using different settings and different um, speeds in order to pull it off. Now, I also tried to see what would happen if I tried to engrave things that I've already 3D printed. For example, this guitar that I made out of a wood filament, I tried to engrave my logo on the back of it and you see that it does come up and I was trying to get the settings right. So I was going over the same spot many different times and it ended up basically 
burning right through it. But um, the, the result is still not that good. And I even tried to engrave on some PETG. I tried to engrave a logo on some tiles, some Gridfinity tiles inside of my kitchen cabinet, in my kitchen drawer rather. And it really just like it burned it. It didn't really engrave it and it just melted the words around it. So that did not turn out pretty good at all. I also tried to engrave on the back of a QR code and it it was made of PLA. It was pretty thick and it did nothing to it at all. There was no marks or anything and it just did not work. So uh, trying to engrave things on PLA with a laser of this strength um, did not yield very good results for me in the few attempts that I tried to do it, but everything else turned out really, really nice. And I am just amazed at the quality that this little laser was able to produce. I even tried to do like a little monogram with some initials on it for like a keychain or key ring. And it was just dead simple to operate, you know, and even focusing the laser is really easy. All you do is just take whatever it is that you want to engrave, and then they include this, um, this focusing paper, this black paper. You just lay this down on top of what you want to engrave, and then you can reach in here and underneath where the laser is, there's a little rotary dial and you turn and you look at the laser, the little uh, dot, and you just have to make sure that the dot is as small as possible and then you can just start engraving. It's really super simple to do. And I think that this machine is definitely one that I would recommend if you are just trying to dip your toes into laser engraving and you wanna see what it's all about, but you don't wanna spend a ton of money to do so and you don't wanna have a big dedicated space with a huge table and a bunch of wood planks all over the place in order to do this because this is just going to be for engraving for the most part making little nice party favors things like this and it's definitely a great way to get started so because of this i'm definitely interested in laser engravers now so we'll see wherever that leads in the future but uh this was a very positive first showing of the technology for me as well as the type of quality and speed that you can get from this very affordable machine to start your laser engraving journey all right so once again the link is going to be in the description to this wayne lux k10 mini portable laser engraver and uh yeah so definitely check it out if you are interested because i am very happy with the results that i got so that's it for now i want to thank you all so much for watching and if you want to see more videos like this including things that are 3d printing related and who knows maybe even laser engraving related in the future we'll see i don't know uh, be sure to subscribe so that you can check those out when those videos drop so until next time take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you soon